Don't look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. If I'd known you would be so open-minded, I would have saved myself a lot of effort. But I'm glad you're not here to judge. It's like I said before, I'm just like you. An adventurer, I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers, on a search for treasure, to a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. For years, I served the Elder Brain, the one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillman. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People refer to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain, where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight, to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've been. His hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gif herself. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, a usurper took her place. Blackheath declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Blackith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince, and if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. A very good question. One that I have been unable to answer. That Orpheus lives at all is ruinous to Blackhead. She has done everything in her power to keep his existence a secret. And that Gortash and the Chosen found out about it. This is impossible to explain. 
but it was important enough to them that Gortash sent me to retrieve it. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside and found Orpheus. I realized what the prison was for. Containment. While my body was within the prison's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him, and in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion, a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy, just like me. I appreciate that, but this is what I am. My original body was destroyed when I transformed. When I first escaped the Elder Brain, I searched for a new vessel, but the longer I inhabited this one, the more it grew on me. I realized that returning to my former self would only impose limitations. Any advantage I could gain by restoring my original appearance, I already had to hand in the form of magic and that humanoid shape you've come to know. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. I believe we'll have a better chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. So, do you wish to evolve or not? Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with the lithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary.
wave of disappointment, stronger than any you've ever felt. And then, stillness. You've resisted your lithid instincts. For now. You are not ready yet. Keep hold of it then. Until you are. It has enough vitality to further your evolution. And your allies. Perhaps you will be more inclined to try it when you see more of what our enemy can do. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control. 